NSFW. People who worked in bachelor bachelorette parties. What is the worst thing you saw? Guy I worked with. Decades ago. Made a legit ball and chain to lock onto the groom's ankle. This was back when the bachelor party was the right before the wedding. They all got blotto drunk and lost the key. The groom walked down the aisle with that ball and chain on his ankle because they couldn't find a solution in time. I was a stripper for about 7 years. I've seen my fair share of bachelor parties. With quite a few that were absolute chows. But one sticks out for reasons that sort of differ from the others posts here. Scene. Dive to tea bar on a Wednesday night. It's kind of early for us. Around 10ish. We have a decent number of customers. But it's still pretty calm. I am sitting at the bar with one of my regular customers. Just doing the stripper thing. The door opens and this young guy walks in by himself. The doorman gets his ID. Takes his cover charge. And dude sits down at the bar not far from me. One of the dancers sits next to him to start her hustle. And the guy's not very talkative. He's clearly bummed about something. The dancer tries to use it as an opening for her hustle. Turns on her charm. And asks him what's bothering him. He gestures to the empty space behind him. This is my bachelor party. Long story short. His friends were traveling in on Friday as scheduled for his bachelor party. However. His fiancé informed him that he wasn't having his bachelor party on Friday. And he could have it on Wednesday or not at all. His fiancé sounded very much like a controlling. Abusive it bag. But that was not our business. His friends were not able to come in early at last minute. So he went on his own. Just to have a beer and go home. But he was clearly hurt by being robbed of this one time experience. A customer who overheard ordered the kid a beer. The dancer who initially came to hustle him sat with him for a little while. Not pushing for drinks or dances and generally just keeping him company. After the first beer was finished. Another customer bought him one. Word of this poor guy's plight has spread by the dancers. And as the night went on. Customers and a few dancers bought him drinks. Lap dances. And so on. The kid had an absolute blast with his makeshift bachelor party. Getting good and sloshed with plenty of stripper tits in his face. Courtesy of the kindness of strangers. After a good while. Someone poured him in a cab and sent him home. I hope he woke up the next day and sent his woman packing. Obligatory edit. Holy moly I was gilded. Never been given red gold before. Good to know my titty tales were so heartwarming to somebody. D. I was doing security at a club and a bachelorette party showed up all wearing t-shirts that said tribe or something on them. They looked like they hadn't been out in a long time to the club. If ever. And quickly all got plastered. One of them stumbled into me. Trying to make it to the bathroom. And I offered to help her get there. Since she could barely walk. She proceeded to let out an exuberant scream and flash her boobs. Before promptly puking all over me and passing out. She fell backwards, breaking the first bathroom stall door in, and swinging it wide open, exposing a screaming girl pooping. It was like 11pm. The night had just started. Again, not a worker, but the bride-to-be. Husband-to-be went out on his bachelor party with a small group, mostly to get drinks, play poker and get him a lap dance at the local strip joint. About an hour in, he calls me. You will not believe this, on stage. Flicking her clit ring, is his last ex. She calls him out by name and says hi. Mind you, the party consisted of my dad, my younger brother, his dad, and a couple guy friends. They very quickly went to the upstairs room for poker and drinks with no more talk of lap dances. That town was too ducking small. Obligatory not a party worker. My friend held her bachelorette party the night before her wedding. And while at the club they met up with a local minor league hockey team. The bride-to-be tried to get the whole bridal party to go back to the hotel with them. But only the bride went. She ended up sleeping with at least one of them and got married to her fiancé the next day. The kicker? She eventually told her now husband about it and now they're in an open relationship. She still hooks up with the hockey player from time to time. Obligatory not a worker. Was guest. No strippers or anything like that. 
I live in a remote farmer's community. Everyone got drunk af and the groom's dad decided that the first letter of the bride's name should be branded on the groom's ass. So that if they get divorced he will always remember and feel guilty about it. So they fetched branding irons, heated them up, pulled the groom's pants down, and Edis branded a massive L on his left a chic. They tied the bachelor to a chair and had two girls start giving him a lap dance. After the girls tops were off they blindfolded him. The girls swapped out with two guys there and the guys kept dancing on him. After about a minute the girls pulled the blindfold. The bachelor squeezed one of the guys nuts hard enough to drop him and shoulder through the other guy. Mind you. He is still tied. Biceps. Forearms. Calves. And waist. To the chair. The chair broke and part of the leg pierced the male dancer's abdomen. Party kept going while a couple people took him to the ER. Edit. Damn this thread blew up. The guys that swapped out with the girls were in pants. khakis, Slacks. Or jeans. Don't remember it was 10 plus years ago. They were grinding on the bachelor's legs. Arms. And ultimately his hands right before the mask was removed. None of us took him as being overly aggressive. It was more of a haha. You got pranked. Holy it he just threw that guy. Haha you got thrown. Holy it. You're bleeding. The injured guy came back a few hours later and him and the bachelor seemed cool with each other. I'm a DJ. I do weddings and parties of all sorts. Was doing a bachelor party for a bunch of guys in a city called Apache Junction. Which is known to be a trashy part of the East Valley in Arizona. First red flag. The best man tells me the party is at his mom's house because it is the nicest. I get there. And it is a mass produced manufactured home. Worried about the amount of space. I ask where I can set up. Oh we're doing this outside on the lawn. By lawn he meant the patch of grass behind the home. Fast forward to the party. I'm playing music and a few trashy looking dancers show up. Obviously amateurs. They start flirting and hanging out with the guys. And taking shots. The dancers and guys are wasted and I notice I haven't seen the groomsman in a while. When he comes back. There is some sort of moisture covering his beard. Not sure if alcohol or bodily fluids. Not getting close enough to check. A few minutes later a minivan full of women show up. First, The bride and her crew came to crash the party after being called by a neighbor about the noise. Apparently. Not only were they guys not supposed to have dances I believe the groom may have dated or had a fling with one before engagement to the bride. Girls were screaming. Chairs flew. It was a Springer episode in every damn way. Worst part. I signed a contract to do the bachelor party and the wedding a week later. I got a call the night before saying the wedding was still on. And it was at the same house. These trashy people still got married. They were all wasted before the reception even started. For the toasters was shots of crown. Not champagne. And they all reeked of cigarettes. The groom even left his lit cigarette on my table as he walked to the crudely made altar before I played the bridal march. Most awkward party ever. Arguments happened all over. People made threats. At least no chairs left the ground. The last hour I played music for about 4 people because everyone left or was passed out. 20 minutes before my time is up. I'm informed by the groom that he doesn't have cash to, to tip me so instead he will let me off early so I can go get laid or something. What a keeper. Edit. I seem to be getting heat for expecting a tip. I do not ever require or expect a tip however a tip tells me I did a great job. A proper wedding DJ is in charge of so much more than just playing music. Between meetings beforehand. Research. Playlists and coordinating with all the other vendors and venues. 75% of the work a DJ does is behind the scenes. My fee is fair and I don't feel I should have to add a required gratuity. I feel confident in my abilities to show my clients that it's worth it. A DJ is in charge of making sure everything is timed correctly. Dinner. Games. First dance. And ETC. If you have a wedding DJ that keeps up the energy. Doesn't screw up and keeps everything on track with timing and doesn't miss anything. You should absolutely consider tipping them. Many weddings have been ruined by a terrible DJ. And why should they be required to have spent that extra $60 $100 for a poor performance?
not a bad thing necessarily. A friend of mine is a male stripper and legal to officiate weddings. More than once he's been called on to officiate a wedding where he met the bride the night before. As he tells it the most awkward was when the officiate cancelled the night before. So the bride is at the bachelorette party stressed about getting a new officiate. He apparently negotiated the deal for that while naked. And they had an agreement that no one would ever tell the groom where she found him. Add a few strippers to the house for a buddies party in Oceanside. We paid a hefty fare for special perks. They brought a variety of dildo strappens beads etc. What turned out to be the most amusing prop they brought was the draldo. Long story short, the bachelor was draldoing one of the strippers in the ass. He sat in a chair. She bent over in front of him. He made the mistake of ripping it out of her too fast. She shot an ice mixture of it and lube all over his lap. He then proceeded to puke on himself. The rest of us about died laughing while my buddy sat in sheer terror at the thought and sight of what just happened. Guy ran a military obstacle course as the first stop on the bachelor party, did the net climbing obstacle. When he dropped down on the other side his ring had got caught in the net. He severed his finger. Having sex with someone who isn't your partner on your bachelor bachelorette party normal? What the duck? So working as a bartender at a bachelorette party. The bride and one of the Brida maids were dancing on top of the bar. Both slipped and I caught the Brida maid before hitting the ground but the bride hit her head and had a bad gash on her forehead and was bleeding pretty bad. Wrapped her head in a towel and rushed her to the hospital. The bride was fine however had a bad scar on her head before the wedding. Drunken Brida maid that I saved yelled at me that I should have saved her oddly enough. Got her apology text a couple of days later though as I gave them my number if I need to be contacted for anything. A top client of mine got blasted and gave me a rundown of his bachelor party. It started by drinking at a Vegas day club. Where he met a few girls and hooked up with one of them. After that and dinner with more drinks. His friends and him went to a strip club where they in total spent over $10 k. This allowed them access to money guns and bricks of fake money. Towards the end. They just started throwing bricks at girls. Which alarmed security. Also. When he paid they forced him to sign the receipt the same was as his ID. Shockingly. According to this guy. Nothing happened at the strip club but lap dances. Feeling let down. They drove to a brothel over an hour away and banged a few prostitutes there. It's now 3am so they drove back to Vegas. Found a 24 hour massage parlor where he attempted to get a happy ending before they kicked him out. Apparently by then his junk was defunct. A few hours later he was at his wedding. They lasted a little over a year and split. Edit. Oh yeah. Earlier in the day he got caught with Molly in a club. But was able to convince the guard to let him go after showing his rewards card with the hotel. At a bachelor party and the stripper, while giving a lap dance to the groom, leaned over and bid my friend, who wasn't even paying attention. Now we say he's a wear stripper, and every full moon he loses control and hits the red light district. Looking for once. Edit. Okay. I did something wrong somewhere. I don't need more people to point it out. Go to a gay bar and observe. Bachelorettes have essentially ruined gay bars. I organized the BP for my buddy. He is a cop so there were lots of cops that got invited. His dad and my dad came for the first half of the night which was a poker tournament in a large hotel suite. The dads leave when the poker is done and the girls arrive about an hour later. They tell us that there were two really drunk guys getting arrested in the lobby and two women with them that looked to be in trouble. Me. Lawyer. And a few of the cops run down to see what is happening. Yet the dads met some women in the elevator. Picked them up. Were trying to book another room and the manager wouldn't rent to them because they were all loaded. They started causing a fuss and the manager called the police. Nobody was arrested. Dads were loaded into a cab and sent home. TLDR father of the groom and my dad tried to pick up randoms in the hotel lobby and got kicked out of the hotel. As a NSFW photographer you encounter several funny and crazy situations. Once I was working in Zek Republic when after the turn ends the producer wanted to have a private meeting with all of us. He made us leave phones and cameras at a table and gather us in a private room. Then he drop a massive bomb. 
so who is gonna help me to do a soft course snuff film? Double the payment. Most of us were in shock until one model asked what was it about. Bestiality with snakes and dogs. Almost all of us grab our things and leave the place. Only 5 people remains there. Bolted rigged out of that country forever.